If I could lose the car sounds, <laughs> I would. Good morning, y'all. Little white feather landed right in front of me. Just listen. <sighs> Today, oh, the school bell. <laughs> I was going to say, what a gloriously beautiful day. Oh, my goodness. And the bird sounds don't tell you that. Mm. It is so beautiful out. Oh, I'm feeling extremely emotional today. And, um... I wanted to talk to you guys about deliberately living in life. Let's go back this way. There's a person coming. You know, deliberate, meaning being in life. And I'm coming from, you know, Michael Sandler's channel, who had Kim Russo on the other day. And what she said made perfect sense. Hold on. Doggies are dreaming of a life outside. <laughs> Eddie loves this. Good morning. Anyway, she was talking to him and she said, be, be a part of life. You know, don't just, don't just be in life, but be a part of it. Engage with life. And it just spoke to me how easy it is for us. And I apologize for my moving around. I am talking to you guys while I'm walking, Eddie. Talking about actively participating in the world around you. So you're not, you're not just, if I may, hold on. You know how it's almost like just automatic. You just do things every day without thinking about it. It's that whole thing of having passion and intention. Knowing what you want. Knowing who you are. And thinking about how you feel about yourself. And to give Eddie's gift to the trash. <laughs> uh, when you, what is that saying? You don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. Well, if you're a happy person, and I strive every day to be happy because happy is a choice, and it isn't based on things or people and you could say but yeah maybe it does if you collectively put all of those things together like this beautiful weather the birds and oh, there we go confirmation and the gorgeous trees and say I've got a beautiful life and I am so grateful for what I have and for where I am right here and right now. And say, I am going to have a fabulous day today because I can. This is what I'm talking about. Saying when you get up those things. Squeeze your loved ones, fur babies, real babies. 
and uh, design your day and say there are certain things and people that I admire and I admire that it inspires me and I'm going to think about that as I put my my feet forward and go about my day you guys ever hear I know you have the composer Rachel Portman look her up I and mean, she's written oh my god songs for everything you can think about from as far back as you can remember and her music is extremely heartfelt oh my god just thinking about it right now makes me just want to burst <laughs> her music is so beautiful and I think <sighs> hmm. Just like back in the day, say the 1600s with Rembrandt, the Dutch artist, or Chopin, who wrote the romantic piano pieces, who was in love with George Sand. People that live from their heart space If you just look at life like it owes you something or you're out to get what you want, your needs met, be damned everyone else. That's what you're gonna get back. But if you look for the beauty people that can inspire you you know artists composers you know music writers writer that really appeals to me is Fanny Flagg and she wrote fried green tomatoes but she's written so many wonderful wonderful things oh, they're playing music at the school kids are having fun but uh Anyway, I'm sorry about that again, but if you just say, I'm going to be, I'm going to be someone who lives from her heart space and who is touching people. Let me tell you guys, wasn't always this way for me. I was pretty much, as you know, a people pleaser and I went along with the crowd because, oh gosh, it would make them smile. You know, maybe they'll like me, blah, blah, blah. Come on, Eddie, come on, let's go. We wanna get past this music. I'm sorry, that's not my choice. I don't want YouTube to <laughs> penalize me for it, but. Good. Car sound. Drag it out. Anyway, <laughs> drown it out, excuse me. Oh, so I'm just saying to you guys. Oh, be deliberate. In your choices. And for me, I didn't choose me. There was a time I did not choose me. I thought I did. No. And I know you know what I mean. Anyway, so it's getting to that 10 minute mark. I need to go I'm trying to keep these messages short and sweet. Live wholly, intentionally, and joyfully for yourself first. Cherish you. I'll be back soon with another video.